It's getting warmer and warmer as the days pass here in the Lakes area now that we get into the mighty month of May. And now that we're in May, we've seen the first businesses open in the downtown crossing redevelopment area here in Detroit Lakes. Now this is the district, if you're unfamiliar with it, that was turned over to the city after the Highway 10 realignment project. Roughly about an acre of prime downtown real estate that the city of Detroit Lakes, partnering with DLM, proper, DLM Downtown Properties, LLC, has been redeveloping. Eight businesses have in fact signed on for that development and the first one started opening just a couple weeks ago with many more anticipated to open in the next coming weeks and possibly the next coming months. If you missed it, there's eight businesses that are coming here to Detroit Lakes. Now, I know when people were told about this downtown crossing project, which a couple years ago began to be discussed, people were expecting... I don't know what they were expecting, but big things, let's say. Some real wowzers type of businesses. And while maybe we didn't get a big wowzer type of business to this point, we still got some very solid businesses downtown. And given the current economic situation we're in nationally, I still thought it was nice that we were able to get long-term leases on a lot of these places, ranging from five years to 15 years, depending on the business. Already opened up as O'Reilly Auto Parts here in the Lakes area. Uh, shortly following that is going to be Verizon Wireless opening soon. Miguel's is going to be opening up very shortly as well. And other stores will open soon, such as Sprint, the Made Right Restaurant, which is that loose meat sandwich one, Cherry Berry Ice Cream Shop, just to name a few. Oh, as well as Great Clips and Jimmy John's. But there's still chance, as I mentioned, for another Wowser business. There's about 20,000 square feet of space available, which we could get some type of retailer in. I know a lot of the downtown businesses were promised some type of retail business. That was kind of the idea. Something that would get foot traffic downtown, get people into that section. After all, the downtown business community is being assessed quite a bit of money to redo that whole parking lot, and they should be able to see some kind of return for their investment. If this draws downtown uh, foot traffic, it'll absolutely uh, do that and pay for itself very, very quickly. But my question is, how do we keep this project from falling by the wayside and becoming empty retail space in five to ten years. Here in Detroit Lakes, I've noticed sometimes a business opens and it seems like just as soon as it opens, it darn near closes. Five, six months later, maybe even shorter. Now, I know this happens to business all over the place, but because I've lived here a little longer than I have in most areas, I guess I've just noticed it happening more often than, let's say, some of the other communities I've lived in, which again hasn't been as long as I've been here in the Lakes area. So what can the city of Detroit Lakes, the state of Minnesota, and the community at large do to make sure that when we build these types of places, they stay full, they stay having people in them? That's going to be the key. I remember when I first moved to town in 2006, 2007, the Greystone Plaza, the front of it at one point was almost gosh darn bare. Shortly after redevelopment and reconstruction of it, turning the top place into you know, apartments for people, the old Greystone Hotel, historic piece of architecture here in the city, and then the bottom into basically office space. And that's another thing people don't want to see over there at the new downtown crossing, is it turning into office space. They want to see retail foot traffic. I don't know how we can guarantee that's going to be in there. So far, as I mentioned, maybe we didn't get a big wowzer in the new downtown crossing. But we did get some good solid businesses, some good solid companies, and we did spice up a little bit of the food variety we have here in the Lakes area even if some people are not that familiar yet with those restaurants. Hopefully, they will be soon. But that's got to be the big ticket. When we're building all these buildings, and right now Detroit Lakes, compared to the rest of the state, frankly, the rest of the country, isn't a bit of a building boom. It's evident by the downtown crossing. It's evident by a few years ago, the western part of the city being built up. It's evident by the city building a new liquor store. It's evident by a private company building a new liquor store south of town. It's evident by the David Donahauer Funeral Home rebuilding a new funeral home out on Highway 10. And, of course, I, did, I almost forgot about the car dealership in town that's moving out towards Highway 10 and the other car dealership in town that's been able to redo its place. We're building and we're growing right now in the Lakes area. Forgot the backyard addition, too. That was recently built, and we've got tons of space available in the industrial park, recently laid the foundation for, for new businesses. The trick is, how do we get these businesses to fill up these places and then keep them? Because the worst thing for Detroit Lakes would be in 10 years from now to walk around town and see a bunch of empty window space, and if we don't watch ourselves, that could end up happening.